What's up guys? Today we're going to be ranking some sonic screwdrivers. But first, some ground rules. One, we're only ranking the doctor's screwdrivers. So no sonic guns, no river song sonic screwdriver, nothing like that. Just the ones the doctor uses. Also, I'm aware that some incarnations of the doctor use different, slightly different versions of it over the course of their tenure. I'm not going to really be going into each slight variation like I know Tenet uses one that's more gray sometimes, and then like Day of the Doctor is more ivory handled. We're just going to rank Tenet screwdriver as one screwdriver. Same thing with John Pertwee. I know John technically, I think, uses two or three, but I'm just going to be talking about the one with the barber, sh the barber pole stripe because that's the one he's most commonly associated with. I know technically the fifth Doctors and the fourth Doctors are slightly different, even though they're supposed to be the same one. Uh, I'm going to be ranking those as one screwdriver. Uh, starting off the list at the bottom is the 12th Doctor's screwdriver. The one he gets in season 10, the blue one. I don't care for it. I just don't like the way it looks. Um, <clears throat> I like that it has a blue light and a green light. <clears throat> I like that the settings can change where it rotates or just flashes solid. Uh, the blue on it looks nice. It seems like a natural, natural evolution of Matt Smith's screwdriver. Um, but just for some reason it doesn't work for me. I think it's a little too big. I think that the end looks kind of weird the way the crystal's shaped. It just looks goofy to me. So I don't really care for that Season 10 Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, moving up is the 13th Doctor Screwdriver. Now I like the orange light. That's a nice change from the blue and green we're used to. I like the orange light. I like the kind of crystal at the end of it. I like the kind of homemade... I like the idea of it being homemade with the spoons and the alien tech. I don't really like the bend at the end of it where it has that little bend that looks kind of weird. Um, and the fact that I'm surprised she's never modified it. <clears throat> I would have expected her to have added to it over time. It looks a little too homemade for me. I mean, I like that originally, but I wish she'd kind of modified it more as she went. As it is, it just doesn't seem that memorable to me. Uh, next on the list is the second Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. And I am specifically talking about the design we see in the War Games, which is kind of the precursor to how the modern series ones looks with the basically a pin light, basically. And of course, that's the same, anima the same uh, design they use for the animation of Fury from the Deep, where it's basically just a long piece with a light on the end. I like that one. It's it's simple, but it works, and it's a nice precursor to what we'd get later in New Who. Uh, next on the list at number six is the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. This one right here. Uh, it's all right. It's pretty cool. I like the green light. It was a nice change of pace from the blue light we'd gotten used to with 9 and 10 Sonic. And I like the the little claws extending. I like the fact that in the show it had the red setting, which we see like in Cold War. I like the fact that it had the red setting it could switch to. So I actually do enjoy this one. It's a little bigger than I like. Um, and I did like how he could kind of flick it and then he'd look at it to kind of, and apparently it would tell him what's going on. I like the fact also that he could make it work just by thinking. He could control it with thought, just point and think. I like that. It's a pretty nice design and it's comfortable to hold. Um, and I do enjoy it a lot. There's just others I like better. Number five on the list is the War Doctors. Now the War Doctors is actually very similar to the old Tom Baker one, except for the end has a little red piece on it. And instead of this tip here, it has the little red light. So it's kind of a cross between uh, a classic screwdriver and a modern screwdriver, much like the War Doctor's outfit is. You know, it's very much a cross between Eccleston's outfit and McGann's outfit, which I really think does John Hurt a disservice. But I do like that screwdriver. I kind of like the idea of a screwdriver like this with a red light at the tip. That actually works pretty well for me, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, next on the list is the TV movie screwdriver, which is, again, a lot like the Tom Baker one. I don't think this part of it looks quite as good. I think it's a little bigger. Uh, but I do love the little telescopic sliding part here where this part here can kind of raise up and then you can click it back down where that can extend and de de -sting. Yeah. Click, click, 
I like that it can do that. You see him do that with it. Plus, it's nice to actually be see the Seventh Doctor get to use a Sonic before he regenerates. But I like that one a lot. Next on the list is the Knight of the Doctor Sonic, which is also kind of a combination, kind of a halfway point between uh, the classic screwdriver like Tom had and the modern screwdriver. Because unlike the War Doctors, it still has the little piece right here, the red piece, but there's a light in the middle that lights up right here when he uses it. That lights up so you can you can kind of see the progression of going from something like this to the one in um the the tv movie which is again it's kind of like this but slightly more advanced to the one that's in night of the doctor that's like this but has while it still has this has the light in the middle to the one the war doctor uses which is shaped like this but doesn't have this part and just has the light on the top it's a nice little progression you can see going on um, I like that one a lot, mainly because it has the little light in the middle with this. It just, I don't know, I thought that was cool the first time I noticed that. Um, moving up along to second place is the fourth Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I love Tom Baker's Sonic. It's my favorite of, I didn't put John Pertwee's on there anywhere, did I? I did not. I miss John Pertwee's. John Pertwee's would go here, because I actually like it a lot. Let's do that. John Pertwee's is very similar to what would become Tom Baker's. Except for, um, I think it's not quite as thin. It has the pole stripe on it, uh, the little barber stripe, which is neat. Uh, personally, I think it looks better without it, but it's still pretty neat. Um, and it fits John's character pretty well. I don't care for the sound it makes as much as Tom's, too. But yeah, John Pertwee's would probably go here. Although I might have actually put it after McGann's. I'm not 100% sure. It might actually, I think I'd put John's between the War Doctors and both of McGann's. It's a good spot for it. But in second place would be Tom Baker's Sonic. I love that. It's my favorite of the classic Sonics. I like the sound it makes in the show. It's not quite like this. I mean, it varies from story to story, but I like the sound effect that one makes. I like how narrow this one is. It took me a long time to adjust from Sonics being pointed like this. I'm, I was so used to them being like this. So I actually really enjoy this one. I get I get a little excited when I see it pop up in the modern series. This is definitely my go-to for classic series Sonics. Of course, I could be partial to it just because I love Tom Baker. And number one on the list is uh, the ninth and 10th Doctor Sonic. I love this one. This is the right size for a Sonic for me. Um, Capaldi and Smith seem a little too large. I like the more compact size of this. And I like the sound that uh, this one makes. I do like the Ninth and 10th Doctor Sonic sound. I like the gray tone better than the ivory. The gray is perfect for me. I like the fact it can still telescope slide up, you know, it's telescopic right here. Which again, we saw start to happen with the Eighth Doctor Sonic. So I, I love looking at the progression of the Sonic from say, especially from Pertwee and watching it slowly transition into, um, all the way up to Capaldi's. I think, you know, Whitaker's is kind of its own thing. But yeah, this one's my favorite. If I had a Sonic that worked, this is the one I like. I really like the blue light. Blue is my favorite color. So that's very appealing to me. Um, but yeah, this is easily my favorite of the Sonic screwdrivers. How about you? Do you have a favorite Sonic screwdriver? Do you have a Sonic screwdriver you can't stand? Do you have one you'd like to see come back? Are you looking forward to a new design? Tell me what you think. Comment down below, let me know. Um, where would you have put John Pertwee's Sonic? I'm curious. Um, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and most importantly, stay safe out there, and thank you for watching.